Aquarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your January 22nd through the 28th weekly love reading. We will see what comes up. Now, keep in mind that this may not resonate with you because it is for a wide audience. Just take what does and leave the rest. This right here is the Ask Angels deck. Okay, so what I'd like you to do is ask a question, and at the end, the card will be revealed. Okay. And this will hopefully give you the answer that you were looking for or give you advice how to obtain the answer, something like that. Okay, so this is for the sign of Aquarius. All right, we're also going to get an overall energy from this deck. There's more than one card, so we're just going to start over here. Shadow. This is the moon. Okay? This is the unknown. This is hidden forces. There's something going on in your life that you don't know. You don't know the whole story. It's like something is being hidden from you. Okay? That card is equivalent to the moon card. It's also the sign of Pisces, okay? I, do, I need you to really, really pay attention to your dreams at this time because your dreams could be trying to tell you something. Um, with the Five of Swords here, it's like, and it's reversed. There's been some power struggles. Um... conflict tension and you're looking to improve it it's like I can't I can't do this anymore I don't want these power struggles but how can we fix this you know you're trying to fix something um, because there's been too much stress there's been too much anxiety in this relationship whatever it is there may be some family feuds going on you know and you're looking for something more you're looking for excitement you're looking for expansion you're not you're not looking to fight and i feel like you're dealing with somebody who's wants to fight you know and you're trying to you're trying to fix something and there you are trying to look at things from a new perspective you know what let's talk about this let's work this out and because you know, you're doing that, you're, you're headed in the right direction, but there's a lot of anxiety over it. I think there's been a lot of depression in your life um, recently, a lot of uh, anguish. And now you're just trying to bring about clarity. It's like, I, we, we really need to talk about this. I think you're trying to get people to communicate. Whereas they haven't been in the past. It's like you're being the peacemaker. It's like it's finally time for us to come up with a solution. Um, because this is too heavy. It's too heavy. It's, why are we carrying this around when we could work it out? So I feel like you're trying to work something out with somebody. You're trying to clear away obstacles. Um, hold on. i got to take this bone away from my dog. I apologize. Otherwise, she would have been chewing it the whole time, and that's super annoying. So um, I do apologize. But there's there's clarity coming, and it's because of you. You are taking the lead. It's like, we're going to talk about this. We're going to try to work it out. We're going to try to clear away these obstacles. There's been too much tension. There's been too much conflict. The feuding that has been going on is causing a heaviness, and you just want to work it out. You're trying to um, fix something, all right? Because you don't want this, you don't want the chaos. It's like, you know, this is, things have been too chaotic and I, we don't need this in our lives. So let's talk about it. I see that there's communication and you are, you're starting it because you have these dreams of the future. You, you're looking to fulfill your own wishes. And in order to do that, you have to clear away these obstacles. And that's what you're doing. I think this is a week of bringing some more peace to your life you're doing it you're taking action because you're trying to clear something up within your family perhaps you know and it could be a love it could be but i feel like there's some kind of feuding that has been going on and you are trying to fix it by 
clearing away some obstacles, talking about it, becoming clear, setting clear expectations. Which will eventually lead to fulfilling your wishes okay it's like we're gonna we're gonna work this out instead of just living here in this conflict i don't know who it's with but i want to zoom this in before i go any further you notice that flame is pictured right on you okay because it's like you've you've the fire has been lit under your ass okay i'm not going to live like this we're going to fix this somehow we're going to talk about this Yeah, your wishes. And see, we have it twice now. I've I've mentioned desires and your wishes and dreams and a couple times now. Um, this is what you're looking for. You're looking to heal this situation. You're having a um, hopeful, or you're going with it with a hopeful approach. Um, <coughs> it's like we need to we need to work on this. It's it's a time of healing instead of fighting. Let's let's figure this out. Um, you know, I'm not going to walk away from this situation. We're going to stay here and until we get it fixed. And I'm not sure what it is. It's like I can't walk away at this time because that's not what my heart wants. But, it, you know, I feel like there is a new door opening. There's a new path. Maybe it's a change of course where in the past you were feeling like quitting and now you're not. I mean, that could certainly be the case where all of a sudden... You decide, nope, nope, we're going to work on this. We're going to work this out. We're going to communicate. Because it's, uh, you know, even though we've been struggling, we need to stand up. We need to talk about this. We need to see things from this new perspective. There is a way to work this out. And I feel like that's what you're doing. You are bringing peace and harmony to your life by coming up with a way to mitigate something or mediate something um you have a lot of life experience behind your back and i think that's what you're doing you're using it you're using your wisdom you're using what you've learned to to get through some difficult situation and it looks like you're broadening your horizons and you're not quite ready to quit on something I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to walk out on this. I am not ready to do that. This is my my heart and my wishes are here. You know, my desires are here. So we're going to have to really um, work through this. And I think you're doing it with kindness, all right? Um, I feel like there's been some kind of break in a partnership. Perhaps this was a soulmate connection. There's been some kind of... Um, discontent perhaps in a relationship and that and you can't and the thing is is that you have been probably ignoring it ignoring it ignoring it ignoring it and just like letting it fester it's been festering it's been festering it's been getting worse and it's been getting worse and now you've come to the point where all right i'm gonna rip this blindfold off we're gonna accept the truth and it's time to work on it You may be dealing with somebody that was very self-centered and didn't want to even communicate, didn't want to put in any effort into fixing this, and they may have blocked you, you may have blocked them, okay, there is somebody here that where there's that has been blocked, or they have been blocking their desire to fix anything, put it that way. You could be dealing with a spiteful energy. So it could be somebody who is immature and is just sitting back causing trouble. All right. You do have somebody, a troublemaker in your life that's causing problems. Okay. Somebody that doesn't want to work as a team. You're dealing with somebody who has been causing problems for you. Um, lack of communication all the way. They're just being spiteful. And there's that moon card again. There's something going on that you don't know about with this person. You're dealing with somebody who has secrets, okay? Put it that way, Aquarius. 
you are dealing with somebody who has secrets and is probably very hot headed. Um, but you want to take the most practical approach. It's like you want to fix this. But it's hard to fix something with somebody who won't compromise and somebody who won't communicate. Somebody who doesn't want to work as a team. So I think you're really in a tough spot. I feel like you're trying to fix something with somebody by being practical and kind and nurturing and probably motherly. You know, you're trying to fix something with somebody. But this other person isn't reciprocating. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who's pretty immature and jealous and spiteful and really giving you a hard time. It's like they don't want to let it end. They don't they don't want to start over. You're dealing with somebody who is very kind of like likes the drama, so I'm sorry to tell you that. I feel like somebody doesn't want you to know their secrets. So just just heads up there. Somebody's hiding something for you from you and I don't think that they want you your help. They don't want your help. They don't want you to know the truth, okay? They don't want to start over. They are not ready for a renewal, okay? Even though you are. I feel like you're ready. You're you're trying to inspire somebody to do something and they're not listening. They're not ready to give. They're not. It's like you're you're looking for something more, but they're not. They're not um they're rejecting your offer, put it that way. All right? They're rejecting your offer of kindness, of support, of inspiration. Because they just they're not they, they don't care. They don't care. I feel like there is some kind of split here, whether it's with a partner or a family member. There's some kind of break, okay? It could be in, in work. I don't know. There's some kind of split, for sure, that you have tried to fix or you're trying to fix. You're trying to come into it with a renewed outlook and you're trying to come into it with hope that you can fix it but I feel like the other party that you're dealing with is going to reject the offer because they don't want a new beginning they don't want to com communicate they don't want to be together they don't want to compromise okay they're just being very self-centered I think you're dealing with somebody who is immature and self-centered and has no desire to really show their excitement for anything at this time. It's like this person is, uh, woe is me, whoever you're dealing with. You know, it's like they like the drama. You are dealing with somebody who really likes the drama that this has caused. So just, that's just a heads up for you. But I think that you are going to stand up for yourself. Because whoever you're dealing with is detached. They're detached. They're cold hearted. And I feel like, you know, you have to defend yourself in this situation. Because this person is feeding off of your energy. It's almost like they are... They're thriving off of the drama. They're stealing your energy and you're letting them. I feel like you are trying to fix it. You're trying to do the right thing. And whoever you're dealing with is laughing behind your back. And I'm so, so, so sorry to tell you that. But that's what I see. I feel like you have this renewed hope. And, you know, you're trying to do the right thing. But you're dealing with somebody who doesn't care. And I'm sorry to tell you that. Um, you could be dealing with somebody who's in a third party relationship. They're not, they're not celebrating their life. Okay. They're not celebrating. They're not celebrating you. Perhaps they may be celebrating somebody else. Maybe you're dealing with somebody who's had a new choice, who's had a new person come into their lives and you're thinking that you can fix it. But I don't think you can. I don't think you can. I mean, we have the Knight of Cups reversed now. This is telling me that there's no relationship growth, no, ha no longer or no matter how hard you try. 
okay? All it is is sex. All it is is sex, lies. Can't remember the last part. I was thinking of that movie. Videotape? <laughs> I don't know what it is. Sex, lies, and sabotage, okay? Whoever you're dealing with, it's, it's, you must free yourself from them. It is. It's a false tie. It is. It's all karmic. It's a lesson that you need to learn. And there's no more second chances. They are going to reject your offer. Okay? So, or you're going to reject theirs. Remember, this whole thing can go vice versa. You may get an offer from somebody. Okay? And you may reject it. Or you may be offering somebody a second chance. You may be offering somebody a chance to fix this. Or they might, you know, it could go the other way. They may be offering you a chance to fix something. But I see that there's going to be a clear rejection of it here. We're going to get you an angel romance card. You could be dealing with any sign, okay? Because they're all here. This situation involves marriage. There could be a split. There could be a divorce. There could be um, one t at one time there was a talk of a marriage, and now that's fallen apart. I think for many of you, it's a divorce, and you want or you wanted to get married to this person. You know, that's what you were looking for. Whatever, however this applies, I think at one time there was either a marriage and now there's a split, okay, a divorce. Or at one time you were this, there was supposed to be a marriage and it didn't happen. Or you were hoping it was going to be marriage. Do I think that whoever you're dealing with right now is going to lead to marriage? No, I do not. I I feel like if this is for couples, there's problems in a relationship. I, I mean, I'm telling you what I see. This will not resonate for every single person, okay? If you're happy and you're married, this reading isn't for you. Usually, tarot readings are for people that are struggling in some way, okay? So I feel like this is, if you are coupled, then there's problems in your marriage, okay? And perhaps there's gonna, not going to be any second chances, even though somebody wants one, whether it's you or the other person. If you're single, I feel like you have been with somebody that you would like to have back, whether it's you or they would like to have you back, and at one time they wanted marriage or you wanted marriage. Okay? So that's how I feel, that's how I feel that card plays out. I feel like there's something going on behind the scenes. Okay? No matter what, there's something being hidden that you don't know about. Okay, because that's what the moon brings. There's something going on behind the scenes that you don't know about. You have your question? Are you ready? Not the right time. That's your answer. So, Aquarius, I will talk to you next week.